Hello friends, well today I am sitting in my chamber for the very first time for these videos and uh, my topic as you can see I have got in my hands the new Consumer Protection Act of 2019 so I am gonna study here, I am gonna look at it and see what it is all about it's a very new uh, law which has been formulated and, and enacted by the parliament and come into force so let me start here it says the consumer protection act 2019 uh, chapter 1 is similar to the old <coughs> old law that is section 1 is short title extent and commencement the section 2 is definitions now we have a chapter 2 <coughs> which is very new which talks about section 3 is central C consumer protection council <coughs> then section 4 is procedure for meetings of central councils <coughs> section 5 is objects of central council section 6 is state consumer protection councils section 7 is objects of state council section 8 is district consumer protection council section 9 is objects of district council so this chapter 2 talks about the formation of consumer protection councils at national state and the district level as well so in continuation of chapter 2 there is chapter 3 which talks about central consumer protection authority section 10 is establishment of central consumer protection authority section 11 is qualifications method of recruitment etc of chief commissioner and commissioners so there are gonna be chief commissioners and commissioner and then section 12 is vacancy etc not to invalidate proceedings of central authority section 13 talks about appointment of officers experts professionals and other employees of central authority section 14 is procedure of central authority section 15 is investigation wing section 16 is power of district collector section 17 is complaints to authorities section 18 is powers and functions of central authority section 19 is power of central authority to refer matter for investigation or to other regulator section 20 is power of central authority to recall goods etc so this is where the procedure comes into force if there is a defective good they can recall goods and they can order for recall of goods now section 21 is power of central authority to issue directions and penalties against false or misleading advertisements so there is they have now uh, formulated law upon false false advertisement and misleading advertisement as well section 22 is search and seizure section 23 is designation of any statutory authority or body to function as central authority section 24 there is an appeal provision section 25 is grants by central government section 26 is accounts and audit section 27 is furnishing of annual reports now chapter 4 which is consumer protection redressal commission earlier, earlier it was forum so now that is the similar law which was there in the earlier uh, consumer protection act of 1986 so let me start here with section it starts with section 28 which is establishment of district consumer disputes redressal commission then there is section 29 qualifications etc of president and members of district commission 30 section 30 salaries allowances and other terms and conditions of service of president and members of district commission section 31 is transitional provision section 32 is vacancy in office of member of district commission section 33 is officers and other employees of district commission section 34 is jurisdiction of district commission section 35 is manner in which complaint shall be made so earlier this was section 12 and now it is section 35 section 36 proceedings before district commission section 37 reference to mediation section 38 procedure on admission of complaint section 39 findings of district commission section 40 is review by district commission in certain cases so there is a review power also given to district commissions section 41 this is the appeal which is earlier was filed before the district forum now it is called as appeal against order of district commission section 42 establishment of state consumer disputes redressal commission Section 43 again talks about qualification etc of president and members of state commission. Section 44 is salaries, allowances and other terms and conditions of service of president and members of state commission. 
section 45 is transitional provision section 46 is officers and employees of state commission section 47 is jurisdiction of state commission section 48 is the transfer of cases internally within uh, the state where the state com uh, commission can transfer matters from one district to the other so now section 49 procedure applicable to state commission section 50 talks about review by state commission in certain cases and now this is an important section section 51 appeal to national commission section 52 talks about the procedure of hearing of appeal section 53 establishment of national consumer disputes redressal commission section 54 composition of national commission section 55 qualifications etc of president and members of national commission section 56 transitional provision section 57 other officers and employees of national commission section 58 jurisdiction of national commission section 59 procedure applicable to national commission section 60 section 60 is about review by national commission in certain cases section 61 is power to set aside ex party orders section 62 is transfer of cases from one state commission to the other state commission section 63 is vacancy in office of president of national commission section 64 vacancies or defects in appointment not to invalidate orders section uh, section 65 is service of notice etc section 66 experts to assist national commission or state commission section 67 appeal against order of national commission which goes to supreme court or section section 68 finality of orders section 69 talks about the limitation period section 70 is about administrative control section 71 enforcement of orders of district commission state commission and national commission section 72 penalty for non-compliance of order section 73 appeal against order passed under section 72 now chapter 5 is also a new chapter which is about mediation section 74 talks about establishment of consumer mediation cell section 75 empanelment of mediators section 76 is upon nomination of mediators <coughs> from panel section 77 duty of mediator to disclose certain facts section 78 replacement of mediator in certain cases section 79 procedure for mediation section 80 settlement through mediation section 81 talks about recording settlement and passing of order now there is absolutely new chapter which is chapter 6 upon product liability which says section 82 application of chapter section 83 product liability action section 84 liability of product manufacturer section 85 is liability of product service provider section 86 liability of product sellers section 87 exceptions to product liability action now there is chapter 8 which is on offenses and penalties section 88 penalty for non-compliance of direction of central authority section 89 punishment for false or misleading advertisement section 90 punishment for manufacturing <coughs> for sale or storing selling or distributing or importing products con containing adulterant section 91 <coughs> Punishment for manufacturing, for sale or storing or selling or distributing or importing spurious goods. Section 92, cognizance of offence by court. Section 93, vexatious search. Now last chapter that is 8, is, it's on miscellaneous provisions. Section 94, measures to prevent unfair trade practices in e-commerce direct selling. Section 95, presidents, members, chief commissioner, commissioner and certain officers to be public servants. Section 96 talks about compounding of offences. Section 97 manner of uh, crediting the penalty. Section 98 protection of action taken in good faith. Section 99 power to give directions by central government. Section 100 act not in derogation of any other law. Section 101 power of central government to make rules. Section 102 power of state government to make rules. Section 103, power on National Commission to make regulations. Section, section 104, power of Central Authority to make regulations. S section 105, regulation, rules and regulations to be laid before each House of Parliament. 
section 106 power to remove difficulties and last section which is upon repeal and savings so uh, one of the, the some of the new things which have come up are upon unfair trade practices in e-commerce direct selling the appointment of commissioners compounding of offenses then it talks about spurious goods products containing adulterant then it talks about product product liability of the product manufacturer or the service provider even service providers included in product liability then it talks about mediation then it talks about establish, establishment of central consumer protection authority there is consumer protection councils so this now consumer Protect, protection act is not just limited to a service or a product it covers a lot of other uh, newer topics which are covered in this act for through which the consumers can benefit and go to the court against any injustice so i believe this is a very very comprehensive consumer protection act which has been drafted by the present government and that's how the the descriptive sections can be read by all and one can file the cases in consumer courts that's all for now thank you very much bye bye good day